The Sound Machine Read by Adrian Scarborough It was a warm summer evening, and Klausner walked quickly through the front gate and around the side of the house and into the garden at the back. He went on down the garden until he came to a wooden shed, and he unlocked the door, went inside, and closed the door behind him. The interior of the shed was an unpainted room. Against one wall on the left there was a long wooden workbench, and on it, among a littering of wires and batteries and small sharp tools, there stood a black box about three feet long, the shape of a child's coffin. Klausner moved across the room to the box. The top of the box was open, and he bent down and began to poke and peer inside it, among a mass of different coloured wires and silver tubes. He picked up a piece of paper that lay beside the box, studied it carefully, put it down, peered inside the box, and started running his fingers along the wires, tugging gently at them to test the connections, glancing back at the paper, then into the box, then at the paper again, checking each wire. He did this for perhaps an hour. Then he put a hand around to the front of the box, where there were three dials, and he began to twiddle them, watching at the same time the movement of the mechanism inside the box. All the while he kept speaking softly to himself, nodding his head, smiling sometimes, his hands always moving, the fingers moving swiftly, deftly inside the box, his mouth twisting into curious shapes when a thing was delicate or difficult to do, saying, Yes, yes, and now this one, yes, yes, but is this right? Is it? Where's my diagram? Ah, yes, of course, yes, yes, that's right, and now, good, good, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. His concentration was intense, his movements were quick, there was an air of urgency about the way he worked, of breathlessness, of strong suppressed excitement. Suddenly he heard footsteps on the gravel path outside, and he straightened and turned swiftly as the door opened, and a tall man came in. It was Scott. It was only Scott, the doctor. Well, 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 the doctor said. So this is where you hide yourself in the evenings. Hello, Scott, Klausner said. I happened to be passing, the doctor told him, so I dropped in to see how you were. Sample complete. Ready to continue?